Now let me create an entity framework folder. So click anywhere on service and say add new folder EF standing for entity framework. Okay. Inside this, right click add new item, search for ADO and add this ADO.NET entity data model. Now what is ADO.NET entity data model? This means the EDMX file. Okay. And uh, you can name it appropriately like this EDMX file should be named something like EIS. That means employee information system. Okay. Now what will this do? This is called as data model. That means what uh, it basically virtualizes your database. As you know, C sharp coding cannot communicate directly with your database. So entity framework is some layer in between, which is just uh, virtualizing your database. So instead of speaking directly to database, you'll be speaking to entity data model. Okay. And that is what it is. It is as good as your database. So let's name it as EIS. Say add. Now it asks you for a lot of templates to choose from. You can choose from any one of these templates. You must have heard things like entity framework works on code first approach or database first approach or model first approach, right? So we are going to have model first approach because in my experience, it is the easiest to learn and a least amount of work has to be done on the coding front. Most of the things happen automatically. So for model first approach, you need to select the template empty entity framework designer model because model is what we will create. Okay. So I want that model as empty. So our EDMX fi file got formed and uh, also understand that this references got expanded that got expanded because a couple of references got added for entity framework for ADO.NET. Okay. Also the long form of EDMX is entity data model. This is the option that you selected while creating that file, right? ADO.NET entity data model. It is a virtualization of your database. It is as good as your database. Now you can right click anywhere over here and add an entity. This entity will be as good as a database table. And let us add an entity by name employee and that creates your employee table. Okay. You can also have one more entity called department. Okay. So once again, a revision, this EDMX file is as good as your database. Database is having one table and another table. Okay. Now let us create columns in these tables. One column is already created, which is ID. These columns are called as scalar properties. Okay. So you can right click anywhere in the employee table and you can say add new scalar property. Now let's call it as name and you can add multiple columns like this. Like I'm adding another scalar property called city and so on. So all these columns are called as properties more precisely or more academically you can call them as scalar properties tables are called as entities so here we have two entities employee and department and database is called as edmx or entity data model okay in department once again you can add a few scalar properties like name of the department and so on. I'm adding just one at the moment. Now, what are navigation properties? Navigation properties are like foreign keys. Okay. Here, if you see, these are scalar properties, but this one is a primary key. And that is why you see a key icon over there. Here also, there is a scalar property, but this is a primary key. Likewise, you can also have foreign keys, but foreign keys will come under navigation properties. Now, either you can directly right click on the entity and say, add new navigation property or add new association okay but in my experience don't add a navigation to an entity rather add an association directly to your database so you can right click on your database that means on this empty area of edmx file and you can say add new association this is the easiest way to add associations here you know ai has automatically determine that you know the association name should be employee department and it should be an association between these two columns why because these are the only two columns that are there in your database so ai is intelligent
then it is saying that you know multiplicity of employee is one and multiplicity of department is many so what does that mean if you don't understand that read in plain english over here what it means to say is employee can have many instances of department and that is why many is given as multiplicity of department and department can have only one instance of employee and that is why multiplicity of employee is one but that is not the case right what we want is one employee should always have one department and one department can have many employees right so it is the other way around the ai is not all that intelligent is it so what we can do is uh, we can just change this multiplicity to many because we want many employees and we want one department so one department many employees so this will be the multiplicity now read it back once again in plain english yeah one employee can have only one instance of department and a department can have many instances of employees okay so this is what we want hit enter notice that it has not only created this association one to many kind of association but also created the foreign keys okay the foreign keys here are called as navigation properties okay so this is your database these are your entities and these are the associations now always remember to save this file and then build your solution once okay so what you can do is right click and build the solution alternate way to build solution is go to build build solution or rebuild solution okay if you're facing issues clean the solution first then rebuild it okay so let me rebuild it alternatively you can also say Control shift and B okay so the build has started and the build succeeded okay your folder structure hasn't changed with that build that is important 